drying out today. The sun's out. Oh, what, yeah. a, what a nice change. I know. Celebrating yeah. that bar bright orb in the <laughs> sky. I was like, oh, I got my sunglasses and I'm ready to use them today. I know. I had to relocate them because it's been a while <laughs> yes. since we've seen sites like this. And I also oh. want to take note, the Hawthorne Bridge needing to rise for the Portland Spirit because... Well, no surprise, the river levels still running high across the Pacific Northwest after a very active and stormy week of weather. You can see the rain gauges over about the past week or so filling up almost every single day. Now, yesterday we managed to skirt past any rain accumulation right here in the Rose City, but we still hold on to a surplus in the wet weather department as the fog layer has found its way back into places like Dayton. That's a live look out towards the Stoller Winery. Hard to make out anything, even the trees off in the distance as the fog slowly creeps its way and becomes more widespread here across the Willamette Valley as we cool our temperatures tonight and our skies really start to break down with that cloud coverage. It really helps the formation of the fog as there is no wet weather in sight, at least for Western Oregon and Southwest Washington, a nice change of pace. But there you go, our atmospheric rivers still in sight out over the Pacific Ocean. We've got high pressure situated right here and that's helping to drive it further north, impacting our friends out towards British Columbia as Western Washington also continues to dry, but you'll notice it still looks quite strong, really organized, and it has the potential to swing its way back into the Pacific Northwest for early next week. But hey, tonight, a great night to maybe get out and about, dress in the layers, just as Fred is doing here. You too can share your pet walk photos with us by heading to coin.com forward slash pet walk forecast with those temperatures cooling back into the low 50s later this evening, eventually bottoming out into the mid 40s. It's that cooling trend. Again, that will really help in aiding in the fog development, dropping down to just about a quarter of a mile through much of the I-5 quarter. That does include Portland and Vancouver as we hold on to mostly clear skies for the coast and over the high terrain of the Cascades. Now, slowly clearing out the fog for some of us. I think others will hold on to it for much of the day Saturday. you got to remember the Willamette Valley acts almost like a bowl and prevents any of that fog from mixing out. But temperatures expected to warm back up into the mid-50s tomorrow, so I'm just calling for mostly cloudy skies, although I think a select few of us will be able to squeeze out just a bit of that sunshine as Sunday arrives with, you guessed it, more wet weather. The atmospheric river slowly starting to play back into our forecast. You can see it here hovering just offshore. This is for later tonight. Saturday starts to march its way further off to the east, but watch as we move our way into Sunday, Monday, the brunt of the atmospheric river once again finding its way back into Western Oregon and Southwest Washington for round number two. All right, here's our breakdown. There's that fog there that's going to develop late tonight. Start the day off tomorrow with those foggy, reduced visibility concerns. And then the cloud coverage trades out as a few of us start to clear our skies of the fog. And then the wet weather slowly increases for our day on Sunday. Very little snow to fall over the Cascades. But over the next 48 hours, not expecting to see really very much accumulation at all. Maybe a quarter of an inch along the coast. Our friends to the north just a bit more than that. But fast forward to Sunday to Wednesday. Yeah, the Super Soaker event once again underway over an inch, likely close to two inches for some of us as snow remains absent until we move our way into next week. That's when we've got a better shot of hopefully building back up the base layer that has been sitting extremely low this late into the season. So for tonight, patchy fog starts to develop. It could be dense in some areas as we fall back into the mid 40s, mid 50s for our afternoon highs tomorrow. More sunshine for the coast and the Cascades as our seven day forecast shows the start of Hanukkah on Sunday with a few of those scattered showers before that atmospheric river arrives on Monday. Yeah, we're talking about once again seeing the rain, the wind, the above average temperatures until we get to the middle of the week. Then we begin to cool things down, still keep the rain and the wind, but at least pushing closer to our seasonal temperature right. yeah. of about 47 for this time of year. Oh. Yeah, those temperatures have been very interesting. They have. Um, okay, let's just prepare. <laughs> Fasten our seatbelts. We've been through it once before. We just got to do it one more time next week. All right. Thanks, Josh. Yeah. Never before.